In this video, I'll show you how to find a date in a list of date ranges like this and return the corresponding value on the same row. In this example, there, are, there is a start and end date in each cell and they are separated by a delimiting character, in this case a forward slash. This makes the formula more complicated and I do recommend that you have them in cell each. To be able to identify the correct date range, we need to uh, separate the start and end date. And to do that, I need to know where the forward slash is in this text string here. And I'm going to use the find function. And I want to look for a forward slash. And I want to look in these cells here. And then an ending parenthesis. And now enter this as an array formula. Press and hold control and shift. And then press enter once. And then select the cells below and click in the formula bar and then repeat to extend this array formula. Now we know that the forward slash is in, care in position 11 in this text string here and in, in fact in all of these cell values. So now we can use the left function to extract a part of this text string and use then use the the first argument is the cell as a cell reference to the text string you want to extract or and then the number of characters you want to use. And in this case, it is 11. So I'm going to copy the formula and then paste it to the second argument and then an ending parenthesis. And now enter this as an array formula. We don't need the forward slash, so to remove that, use remove subtract with one. And now we have the date we want. And the cell reference is C3 to C6. And now we have the date we are looking for. And we need to convert it to an Excel date. So use the function date value. And an ending parenthesis. And now it is a number that Excel that Excel uses to build the dates and I can copy the cell formatting from this cell here and paste it to these and you will now see that they are dates and in fact they are these dates here. The next step is to extract the second part of the date range or the end date. And to do that, I'm going to use the write function. And that will extract characters in the text string and these I want to use in the first argument 
and in the second argument I can't use 11 here so I need to use the length uh, function to get the total length and then subtract with a 11 in this case I'm going to copy the formula and then an ending parenthesis I believe and now enter this as an array formula and we have the end dates now and the next thing to do is to use the date value function again to convert them to excel dates and format them as dates and now we have the start and end date in a column each so now we can build the logical expression the first logical expression will compare this date value the start date value with and I'm going to use an if function to compare these uh, dates and I want it to be smaller than or equal to this date here and I want to use a second logical expression so I'm going to use parenthesis here and then copy the second formula that extracts the end dates and paste it to the second logical expression and an ending parenthesis and if if and I forgot to compare it with the date we are using and we want the end date to be larger than or equal to this date here and I want to use a locked cell reference here so press select the cell reference and press function key F4 and if both of these logical expressions are true I want it to return the corresponding row number and if it if it returns false I want it to return a blank and now an ending parenthesis to close the if function enter this as an array formula and expand the array formula to cells below and now we can see that this if function returns an array that has the same size as this cell range here in this case four values four rows and it returns a row number here where this date is larger than or equal to this date and smaller than and or equal to this date and the if function then returns the row number and I'll show you what I mean. I'll copy the first logical expression and enter it here. And the second logical expression.
and the row numbers and the formula multiplies the first uh, logical expression with the second logical expression and in this case true multiplied with false is false so the if function returns a blank for this value in the array and in the second value true multiplied with false returns a blank because this is false and true multiplied with true returns true so the if function in this case returns the row number in this for this row and you can see it here and in the fourth value false multiplied with true equals false so the if function returns a blank here The min function allows us to extract the smallest number in an array. And in this case, it will be 3 because it ignores blank values. So copy this and enter it here and use the min function parenthesis and an ending parenthesis and enter this as an array formula and now it returns number three and that is the row where we want to return the corresponding value from and to do that I'm going to use the index function and the first argument is the cell range where we have the values we want to extract and the second argument is the row number and since i'm using a cell reference here that has only one column i don't need to you to enter a value for the third argument in the index function so an ending parenthesis and press and hold control shift and press enter and now it returns value C. It is possible to simplify this formula and I'm going to use the sum product function so we don't need to enter this as an array formula some product and we don't need the if function anymore and the comma here is gone and I'm going to multiply the logical expressions with the row numbers and then delete the remaining part of the if function and then press enter and this formula is smaller than the previous one and you are you don't need to enter it as an array formula this is a regular formula 